Utah's real estate is as diverse as its climate. From the summits of Park City all the way to the Red Rocks of St. George, Utah's real estate is bursting with character. Utahns love their real estate. But it's always evolving and changing, whether somebody wants to sell it or remodel it. This is Utah Real Estate Essentials. Well, it's just so fun. Veterans Day is November 11th. In recognition of this special date, the entire month of November, we will be featuring unique homes and lending options for our military, veterans, and their families. Thank you for your service. Looking around the state, let's head over to Park City and see what's trending with the David Lawson team. Yeah, it's a great property uh, over in the Cove and on Valley Hills, which is the northeast corner of he the Heber Valley on the bench, overlooking the entire Heber Valley and then and the beautiful Tippinogus Mountains. Yeah, beautiful. beautiful. And you can tell fall is in the air. The leaves are starting to fall off and there's nothing better than being up in the Heber Valley because in those beautiful views and as winter starts to come, it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful two story, uh, full front end deck that you know you're overlooking the entire valley as you walk in it's a beautiful open floor plan with hardwood floors just sweeping spaces just great for the gathering space yeah and you can tell the way they put that kitchen in there's a really nice job because they made it a nice big open kitchen that leaves and so if somebody's in there in the kitchen working or whatever they're still entertaining and talking to everybody in the whole property which is great absolutely tons of cabinet space tons of counter space it's got a huge pantry behind uh, for all the extras. It's a beautiful, uh, it's got the beautiful uh, formal up front with the, again, the hardwood that flows throughout the, all the living spaces. Yeah, plantation shutters, you're gonna see each one of those. And so you got those views off of each one of those windows and it looks like the masters right here, beautiful. Yeah, huge master uh, leading into a large walk-in closet, a uh, very similar cabinetry throughout the house. It was really well put together. Yeah, very nice, as you can see, and very decked out. And that master right on that, uh, with that view that looks over the valley, that's, that'd be very desirable. You'll see this place has six bedrooms, five and a half baths. So almost every bedroom has a bathroom that's adjoined. Uh, again, all the spaces have been well thought out and, and really livable. Yeah, and the Heber Valley has become very popular over the last really few years because it's still a really good value and there's a lot of spin-off people from Park City coming down here and you get such a, a much bigger property and you get a nice valley that's there and you're really still close to all the ski resorts and everything that are going on, right? Absolutely, 15 minutes outside of Park City. Down in the lower level, uh, it's got a mother-in-law kitchen, uh, nine foot ceilings, Really great spaces, very, very comfortable living in the, in, the, in the lower levels. Yeah, very nice. So plenty of bedrooms, as you can see, so lots of place for people to come and stay. But let's talk, uh, and as we're looking at these different bedrooms, one of the really cool things about this property is it has a big, huge, massive garage, right? Right. The property, literally one of the biggest and best features of the place, has a 50-foot garage with extra tall doors. You could literally park the biggest diesel pusher uh, RV in there uh, and you know it's it's conditioned air it's going to be it's going to be sheltered and cared for you can see there's the back end of it uh, built right on the house yeah which is so desirable because a lot of people that live up in this area they want to travel and have a place where they can have their RV inside to keep it nice and clean and this is kind of the kind of the best of both worlds really nice backyard you're right up there in the Heaver Valley and you've got a place where your motorhome can fit in this this is special at a really good location in Heaver I really like it Sheldon, we're headed down to West Provo here, and believe it or not, this is West Provo is where I bought my first house. 
Oh, well, there you go. How about that? That's awesome. And so it wasn't too far away from this house, but these houses, take a look at this single family home, beautiful. And the big thing that's going on in Provo right now, it just came out in Forbes. This is a top five place in the United States to live. Absolutely. Yeah, we see that all over the place, articles and articles on it. That's right, because of the tech boom and what's going on. But I recently read a report that said they are expecting within the next however many years, a million people moving into Utah County. And you, and if you can imagine how many people that is, if you think about taking all the people in Salt Lake and moving them into Utah County, that's what we're looking at. Huge growth. Yeah, it's amazing. Technology boom. It's like San Francisco back in the early 80s when computers were coming out. That's what's going on down there. And so when you talk about a property like this and the appreciation, just look at the freeway system and the skyscrapers are going in. Skyscrapers, freeway massive build. And now you look at a property like this that you can get in. Let's talk yep. about. Now we're looking in Provo and we've got really aggressive pricing on this. We're, I mean, this is just about anyone can afford this house. But if you're thinking about renting, why would you rent when you could get a beautiful home like this, right? Yep, absolutely. And with this price point, it's so low that it's most first time home buyers, no money downs, uh, grant programs, and then a really good product, 3% down where you can use your roommate's income or a brother and sister lives with you. They don't wanna be on the loan or they can't credit whatever issues, but we can use portion of that income to qualify. This is the perfect house for it in the perfect situation. If a million people are moving in, that means appreciation. How many times we always figure it out afterwards? Yep. We know what's coming. There's yep. no, listen, you can see the sky. When they're building up in the air, that means the land becomes so expensive, they literally have to move up. Yep. And when you get a new downtown that's coming in and you get these beautiful properties and Forbes talking about it and you see all the technology coming in and you got a nice, beautiful property like this that's ready to move in, you know, 22 square feet with five bedrooms, it's got two baths in there it's on a nice little quiet street super clean this is a place you should because I guarantee if we look at ourselves right now 10 years if we look 10 years in the future we'll be thinking I should have bought every one of those properties absolutely and this move-in ready just a perfect location yeah and Provo tons of expansion look at the nice little backyard you can see the mountains a little smoky today I don't know what happened there but uh, look at the nice little backyard and for I mean under 350 what are, you can't rebuild this house so that means appreciation Long before I was an actor, I was an Army Ranger for the United States Army. So the VA loan is near and dear to my heart. It's a complex loan and a difficult process. And so I've partnered up with Real Estate Essentials and we started a program called the VA Home Alliance. It will include a zero down payment loan, a free inspection, a free appraisal, and for a thank you for your service, they will pay your first house payment. Not only does this make the process easy, but it also offers a lot of benefits. So if you have any more questions, please check out the website. So you're buying a new house, and what if something breaks in the first year? Ask your agent to get an Elevate home warranty. We cover major systems like your appliances, your plumbing, your electrical, your hot water heater, your furnace, your garage door opener, and we also do Reiki. So next time you buy a house, just don't buy any old home warranty, buy an Elevate home warranty. Sheldon, over at Academy Mortgage, I hear you got some programs that help people. Maybe they're getting a little bit older here mm -hmm. and they want to move down to St. George and things have changed in their life, right? Yeah, so I had a recent um, scenario where a gentleman lived here in the Salt Lake Valley, ended up having a mortgage, had to pay utilities, and by the time he had his retirement income, he, he was barely making it. Yeah. We knew that he was going to have a roof that had to be replaced, sensor air, it was just an older home, and he brought up the idea of wanting to move to Southern Utah. As we looked through his finances, we figured out if he did a reverse mortgage or a heck and purchase, most people think reverse mortgage and they yeah. think refinance. Yeah. And this is actually a purchase loan. He's able to put 50% down and was able to go down without a mortgage into a new condo and it completely changed his life. That's amazing. Yeah.
Okay, Quincy, for this one, looks like we're headed out to Riverton, right? Yeah, it's a great location right in Riverton. It's just on the edge of Riverton and Harriman, uh, right near Mountain View Village, which is great for shopping. It's a... Yeah. And there's a bunch of uh, parks right near here, right? There are. There's actually two on the same street. Yeah. That's great. Super, uh, obviously, is a nice family neighborhood as we're walking inside. Just really clean lines. It's nice you got this office just right off the entry on the right. All right. right. And then you walk in and you see these beautiful open windows and this big space to entertain and have, you know, a fun time with your family and friends. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. Now tell me a little bit about these windows because they've been tinted and everything, right? They have. Yes. They're actually uh, fully tinted. The buyer spared no expense and made sure that those tinted windows are going to be more ener energy efficient for your home and it's going to stop your floor from fading. Yeah. And the kitchen is just absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Decked out, right? Very absolutely. stylish. Absolutely. Yes. We've got the gas range, the double oven, stainless steel appliances and the granite countertops and I mean the backsplash alone is just something to really like take a look at. Yeah and you can see they they did a really good job really nice open floor plan and so as you're in the kitchen you're not closed off which we really like you can actually be entertaining and engaging with everybody and on the whole floor and it looks like as we go upstairs this is where all the bedrooms and stuff are right? Yeah you're gonna find three bedrooms up here and this gorgeous loft which is a great space yeah, very nice, very convenient because that overlooks everything that's going on uh, downstairs. And master bedroom, beautiful. Very stunning. It's got a great master bath as we move into that direction. It's a good size master too, which is really nice and great views out those windows. Yeah, you can see those big, huge, massive uh, uh, mountains off in the distance there. And right. big closet you can see in. Very big nice closet. shower, right? Great shower. It's a like European style shower, which is wonderful. And that huge tub is so great. Yeah, and another full bath upstairs. So how many bedrooms and baths are we looking at upstairs? So you've got three bedrooms, including the master, and then two full bathrooms, which is great size. Yeah. And, and your laundry the... is upstairs as well, so it makes it convenient to have everything right there. Yeah, and that's super desirable. Everything's all on one level, laundry and everything, and, and good size rooms, which are very nice, and nice windows. Okay, and so now we're headed on to the backyard. Nice little enclosed backyard, right? Yeah, it's got an enclosed backyard. It's got a small fence, so if anybody has pets, that's a great little feature for you there. Yeah. Yeah, what a beautiful house. Riverton is always doing great. And it's really convenient, beautiful neighborhood. Very, very nice home. Okay, Sheldon, for this one, we're going out to Eagle Mountain, and but let's talk about, the, obviously, this is an incredible house. There's about 3,300 square foot, three-car garage. It's on a half acre, which is all super desirable. It's horse property, corner lot, big RV pad. It's got everything that everybody wants, right? Absolutely. Because there's all the jobs that are coming in, and this is going to be a hot area. This is one of the closest places you can get to and get into uh, horse property. But let's talk about, because what's interesting about Eagle Mountain, they've got some really cool loan programs, right? Yeah, so the thing that people like about like Saratoga Springs, Eagle Mountain area, like you said, is the growth that's happening and jobs and employment's coming in. But even with that growth, we still have the rural housing and USDA loans, which is no money down. Yeah. And so let's talk about what USDA and what all that means. Yeah, so USDA and rural housing is more for rural areas. You think Twill, you think small towns. That's the goal of, of the government to help you grow and sprawl is what it's called to get out there and, and get developing going. These areas have those, but when you go out there, you don't feel like this really tiny town. It's growing so much. So my feelings is eventually that area and those eligibilities are going to change. Yeah. So you might as well jump on them while you've got them. And so it's opportunity because the government wants people to move out into these locations. So they offer better loan packages. And let's talk about what that would mean. So they get better loan options. You get this beautiful property. The freeways run out. They're really close. It's not a problem. There's huge growth and opportunity of a lot of appreciation. But let's talk about what a loan would look like for yeah. a house like this. So as far as this program, you know, a lot of them have no money down products. And, you know, we have some of the Valley grant programs, no money down. We have a second mortgage, different option. But this is one mortgage combined. So it keeps your payment lower, lower than normal programs. So people draw to that where it's, I have one payment, it's a lower payment than normal, and, and they just love the idea of getting in. And the nice thing of this house price is, most people think they have to be a first time home buyer, but yeah. that's not the case. You could live in the valley and maybe you're, you, you wanna move away. You wanna have half acre instead of a quarter acre. You can actually sell your house, pay off student loans, pay off, car loans, credit cards, and you still could buy this house with no money down doing rural housing and USDA loans. 
Yeah, which is so nice. And Academy's got a, a bunch of different programs that uh, that could work this way, right? Yeah, we have over 200 loan products. Yeah, and what, and so at this point with these type of houses and programs and the way the economy is going, you almost have to, if you're renting, it's because you want to rent, right? Exactly, yep. Because you've made a choice because you can buy a property. You don't have to have a massive amount of savings. You don't even have to have some incredible credit score, right? Yeah, no, so it's interesting because I talk to people all the time is income-wise, credit-wise, and equity, we have loan programs to help you. Um, if people are renting, it really is because that's just they want to do. Yeah, and but if they don't want to rent and they want to get a beautiful property and get the appreciation and the tax write-offs, all they got to do is, is reach out to you at Academy, right? Absolutely. In your home, you will see many firsts. First steps. First pets. And first dates. Whether you're looking for your first or last home, you want to partner with a first choice lender to make securing a mortgage as easy as possible for you. Home buyers have relied on Academy Mortgage for customized home loan solutions and responsible and honest mortgage service for over 25 years. Make Academy your first choice lender. Forever homes for everyone. Everyone needs a home, and at Real Estate Essentials, anyone who buys or sells their home with the J. Deere Real Estate team will receive a free adoption for the pet of their choice. Real Estate Essentials has teamed up with the Humane Society of Utah to bring you forever homes for everyone. Love your new home and love your new rescue pet with the J. Deere Real Estate team. So Sheldon, we're out here in Daybreak. We're in a house that's around the $450,000 range. And there's a lot of people that think that they need to come in with a lot of money to be able to get a house like this. What does Academy have to offer for them? Yeah, so a lot of people think they have to put 20% down. There's this misconception. This price point is perfect for a first time home buyer, maybe somebody that bought and is the next home, you know, that price range. And we have no money down products. We have 3% down, 5% down. And a lot of those we can do without any monthly mortgage insurance. Wow. Yep. Okay, well, let's take a look at what a house in that price range looks like. So, Sheldon, here we have the exterior of the house. It's a Craftsman style home. And look at that great wraparound porch. You know, Rachel, the thing that people most love about Daybreak is that porch, the energy sitting out in the afternoons or in the mornings. And the great thing about Daybreak that people really, really enjoy is it's walkable to parks, the schools. And there's just a lot of energy that becomes from that. Yeah, definitely. And then when you come home in the evenings, you have your front dining room for this house and you have those laminate floors so you feel comfortable at home. And look at that great vault in that family room. Beautiful. The vaulted ceiling there, as far as getting rid of that second floor, really opens it up and then it has so much light with those four windows. Really enjoyable when you're sitting there at the kitchen into the family room. Yep. And then in the kitchen, we have uh, quartz countertops, we have a gas range, 42 inch cabinets. So it's a great kitchen for making dinner and entertaining guests, friends, family, whoever comes over. You know what I love about this home, like you said, is this part right here is unique, how they put the formal dining room out front and then they end up leaving this room for the kids. So they're in the kitchen and have the kids there playing and keep an eye on them. It really was thought out well. And then we go outside, we have a covered patio, so it's nice because you can be out there barbecuing with friends and family, you can let the kids play out there, and you don't have to keep everything inside in this house. It's nice, you can enjoy the entire space. And I like right here is how they went with the lamina up the stairs, and that's where you get a lot of traffic, and so to not have carpet was thought out really well. Yep, and then here we go into the master bedroom. Nice big master bedroom, plenty of room. You could even put chairs in there. You could add more furniture. There's a lot of things that you could do with this master. You know, what I like about this house is the size and square footage. It's, you know, it's in a price point for a first time home buyer. But the other nice thing is with the bedroom upstairs, we'll see in a minute with the kids is this is the perfect home for maybe your second home where they're starting to have kids, they're having a family, they're growing out of the house that they had. 
And right there is so cool. My kids would love that wallpaper and that my boys would just die in that room. Yeah, it's great because you can do anything with this house. It could be something where someone's downsizing, something where someone's upsizing because they have a growing family. You could do anything with those rooms. They could be craft rooms, they could be office. It could be anything that a person needs. At this size, 3,400 square feet, it's a good size for whatever point a family is at. And then here we go down into the basement. There's another bedroom in the basement. We actually have two down in the basement. And then this great entertaining space, built-in speakers. The wires are hidden behind the TV so you don't have to look at wires. You have all of this open space that you can do anything with for entertaining. Love the basement. I think there's a lot of games, movies, get together. It's so much fun. Yeah. So in this house, it's in the mid 400s, so it's good for someone that is going into their second home, that's a first time home buyer. It's in Daybreak, it has everything that Daybreak has to offer. All right, Becky, where are we going for this one? We are going to 260 West Redberry Road in Draper. It is on the west side of Draper. This house is awesome it sits on an acre it's 4498 square feet we've got five bedrooms three and a half baths and tons of living space so as you walk in you've got this really nice open family room plantation shutters as you walk in and that's connects to a formal dining area as you can see very and tasteful is, very americana is, i like it's, this but it's a really traditional kind of farmhouse feel which is awesome because of course it's on an acre um, and, you and do it's got have, a big shop right it's got a huge we, let's shop. get right to it let's cut to the chase it has a huge shop and these properties are become so valuable because shops themselves you have to replace that shop it's hundreds of thousands of dollars yeah i mean you could park nine well seven cars in that shop really <laughs> and so a property like this you almost people will buy the shop and just you just throw the house in yeah Pretty much. You buy the shop, you throw the house in, but this house is even better than just the shop because it does have the master on the main, laundry's on the main, and it is horse property. So wow. the shop could be in used Draper. in Draper. Yep. Could be used as a tack room, could be used as, um, you could actually create stalls with that shop area and put your horses indoor. Um, or it's you could just, make it an office space or whatever you, you want could. to do. Yep, it could be made into office space. The cool thing is, is there's plenty of living space here. You, you know, you might be able to even use the shop as living space, but you don't need to because this house is, like I said, 4,400 square feet, big living spaces on the main. Then you go upstairs and you've got a loft area and then additional bedrooms upstairs as well. Yeah, and so the, this house is so desirable because it has so much going for it. The location itself is dynamite. Yeah. And then the layout of the house is wonderful. And it's got the big acreage on an acreage. Yeah. It's got this basement. Let's talk about this. So it's got a mother-in-law basement and it's got a walk out, a daylight walk out. So you're just walking right out of the house into the back pasture or into the shop. And boy, this one is going to sell really quickly. You just don't to try and replace this. When you talk about cost involved in this, you're going to get astro astronomical amounts of money. And then you look at this guy, really tasteful backyard and that big, huge shop in the back. Oh, I love this. It's so pretty. Um, you can actually see the horses in the video just out there grazing a little bit. So, really? um, it's, you this know, one's fully... gonna sell fast. We hope so. Yeah, well, that, it will just because it is. I mean, yeah. look it's at that. It's just hard to beat with the space that you get. The house is great. And the nice thing about this, that area is always doing so well. And look at that shop. Draper has just got a wonderful name. It's got so much going for it. And then you get all this built into a property. And look at that shop. That is unbelievable. Yeah, it's, I mean, like I said, it's huge. You could fit two semi-trailers in there. Obviously the doors are extra, extra high. Um, and then this is the attached office space on the back, um, which is fully heated. Um, so we've got this huge space you could do, like I said, you could turn it back into stalls. You could, I shouldn't say back, cause I don't know that it was ever used as stalls before, but it's been used as a tack room, um, but could be turned, moved into stalls. Yeah, and so there you go. You talk about Draper, an amazing property. That is a really a beautiful house. Let's head down to the Red Rocks of St. George and see what the Ames team is up to. 
Well, Jay, this week, and uh, by, those, by the way, I say this week, we have fabulous weather right now down here, and you guys have had some rough weather in the Rockies. Well, come down and play in the sun, and this is the perfect house to do this way. This is a house that's located over in Tonaquint Terrace. This house is loaded with upgrades. I mean loaded with upgrades. All kinds of wrought iron and rock work and high-end doors, high-end finishes. Jay, just take a look at this house. It is immaculate. Yeah, it's they really they really put it in on this one. So now tell me a little bit about where this area is in St. George. Good question. So Tonquin Terrace is over near Sunbrook Golf Course. So it's really convenient. You're within you're within ten minutes to three golf courses from this house. You can ride bikes endlessly from this house. You have theaters, you have shopping within five minutes from this house. This is such a great house, and this was a model home for the neighborhood when they built this out, Jay. So this, you know, obviously this house has all the upgraded features you could ever imagine. Yeah, one of the things that's really nice about model homes is this, is the the owner or the builder in this case would have gone and made everything exactly perfect. There will be no mistakes in that house, which is so nice. Exactly, and the thing that's really nice about this house as well, this house, Jay. There is a mother-in-law suite. It has an exterior entrance. It has a kitchenette. So it really is, by every definition, a casita. So bring a family member, have friends visit in there, whatever you want to do. But what a great, great house and a casita to have friends come and play. Yeah, and casitas, you don't see that a lot up here in the northern part of Utah, but in southern Utah, these are real popular because I think a lot of people come down there and visit for the weekend. They want to hang out, enjoy the weather, yeah. and so it's a great way to enjoy your family and still enjoy your home, but be able to enjoy your family, but they're just perfectly still on your property, but not inside your house, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Jay, down here in St. George is really funny because people say, if you want to find out how many family members you have, or how many friends you didn't know you have, buy a house in St. George and you'll meet both of them. Yeah, and t looking at this pool in the backyard, boy, they really, they did really design this really well, didn't they? Yeah, yes, this house is a really, really affordable house, um, close to everything. It's in perfect shape, and uh, we need a buyer to get in this house because this house, this house is a great, great house, fully upgraded. Yeah, and you can tell. And St. George, boy, it's just beautiful. The weather's always great, and St. George is just beautiful.